Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Express Macro Language, which is a new feature of Reflection Desktop 16.1. The Express Macro Language is based on Google's Blockly Visual Programming Language, and it's a platform that will work with Reflection, Rumba, and in future versions of the Zero Footprint Emulator. The idea behind the Express Macro Language is to provide a simple mechanism for those with little or no programming experience to automate fairly simple tasks. So let's record a macro. First thing to point out is if you're familiar with Reflection Desktop, you'll notice under the Tools menu there's no Visual Basic uh, buttons anymore. Those have been moved to the Macro tab, uh, which is new, where you now see the Visual Basic. In addition to that, you see the Express Macro buttons. So to record, we hit Record Macro, and then begin typing in the commands that we want to record. So I'm going to log in to TSO's ISPF menuing system. And as we wait for it to log in, I wanted to point out that the macro does scan the text that's being sent to determine some text that will it'll wait for before it sends the next command. So if shortly you'll see three stars appear, and when it does, I'll hit enter. And it's going to grab those three stars and record that into the macro along with the, the enter that I hit. So once we get into ISPF, we hit stop. And it'll prompt me for a file name. And we've recorded our first macro. Next, what we want to do is log off. And I want to demonstrate how the macro runs in its raw form. So I'll go play macro, select it. And you'll notice the password dialog box does not have a title on it, and the prompt uh, could be changed to say, please enter in our, our password instead of just enter in the hidden text. So I'm going to enter in the password. And I know that what's going to happen here is uh, the wait for text command that's actually automatically inserted is going to time out because its default is only 15 seconds and it takes slightly more than 15 seconds for those three stars to appear. And so we get a timeout message and I'm going to demonstrate how we can change that to avoid getting that error message. The next step is we're going to edit that macro. So we'll go to Macro, Edit Express. And you'll see in the Express Editor on the left panel are various commands that can be used in a macro. Uh, we want to open up the one we just created. And note that you can only edit the macro using the Express Macro Editor. And in the right panel, you'll see the commands that we recorded. Uh, you'll see it looked for some text, sent the TSO, the enter, looked for user ID, uh, looked for password. And uh, here in the type text, that's the message box appeared that I mentioned we want to change. So we'll change the title to enter password. Then next we'll change the prompt to please enter password. Now you notice here the wait for text at a certain position. This is the command what, that threw up that error message. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull away these blocks of text or these blocks of code away from the main one, pull out the one we don't want, put it in the trash can. And then in the left panel, we're going to grab that wait for text for a timeout period. And the way this works is it'll look for those three stars for whatever timeout period we give it. And so well, let's give it 30 seconds uh, just to make sure we give it more than enough time. And if it finds it in less time than that, then the macro will go ahead and continue. So we save it. And then let's log off and then test our macro. We can also run the macro from session, run macro, select express macro. Select our macro, hit open. And you'll notice that our dialog box uh, is reflecting the changes we made. So now I'll enter in my password. And as it completes, to summarize, today I introduced you to the Reflection Desktop Express Macro Language which is based on the Blockly Visual Programming Language. We recorded and edited a macro to change the password dialog box and a wait for text uh, function. 
Uh, so look for new videos coming out that, that demonstrate the additional capabilities of the Express Macro language. Thank <music> you.